Hello there peeps, welcome back to Subnautica. Today, we are going to take a look at new power for ourselves. Since we removed the bioreactor, we are going to take a look at the nuclear reactor. And this requires two titanium ingots, three lead and one lubricant. And we do have enough titanium over here. Because a titanium ingot requires ten titanium. Okay. Now, I think lead you have to go and get from the sandstones and limestones and stuff you break. I think you get lead from that. Unless we do have lead around here somewhere. Let's just take a quick gander around here. Oh, never mind. We have all the ingredients we need. But we need more uranium. Or uranium crystals. Uh, is that the only ones we have at the moment? Oh no, there is some more over here. Okay, let's grab those quickly. And... Nope, wrong one. Why do I keep confusing the things? There we go. Uh, I think that's enough for one reactor rod. Okay, let's go ahead and check out... No. Over here. Needs one uranium, one lead and one titanium. Which is not too bad to create. If we go to advanced materials, uranium is three uranium crystals. And we have over here, if I confuse again, one, two, three, one, two, ah, we don't have enough. But that doesn't matter, we might as well just go ahead and go explore a little bit. You know, we've been uh, doing a lot of base building and that kind of stuff, so I was thinking maybe we should just go out, just get the uranium at least, or the little crystals. But let me show you guys what I have done to the base. Okay, so first of all, we have this room where that noisy stuff is, and we should have moved that away. We have our tank, and yes, they all have hatched, all of them. There's a couple of um, boomer fish, and a ray fish, and a stalker, and uh, I don't know what those are. I think they're called sand sharks or something, I, I'm not too sure. No, 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 let's go down uh, to over here. And we got this, and we got that. Uh, let's grab about five of these, and let's these I think between five and six of these guys you can eat without poisoning yourself so without further ado let's go ahead and let me show you over here now this basically still all looks the same right except for there is no other entrance to the other uh, moon pool I was trying to be dramatic there and I got a brain fart so I apologize so let's go up here Ooh, a bit of frame drop there so over here we have our scanner room down there which I did upgrade, by the way, to show me, um, I think, what was it? Metal Salvage. And I did upgrade three of the four slots with range upgrades. And it is showing me there is one Metal Salvage that way, but we don't really need that right now. And I must do... S I, I have to say that this could have a little bit more improvement, to be honest. Uh, it's The range is not great. That little map there doesn't is not very useful, you know, and you can't interact with it. But anyways, let's go to this one. There's another containment unit over here, which I filled up with um, these bladder fish or air sacs or what are they called? Air bladders? What? Okay, that was just weird. And two of these. Really? Okay. And two boomerangs. Alright, so my idea for this is for them to just populate uh, enough, you know. If we run out of food somehow or something, we can always grab out of here. Let's move on to the next one where we have another containment which is ready to be crafted. I just have to get the materials and then down here we can access the other moon pool, which is houses... <coughs> Excuse me, my voice broke there. Uh, which houses the other Seamoth. Okay, oh, which houses the Seamoth. Now, I was thinking we should, at some point in the future, I might do this off camera, is add another console over here or upgrade station so we can upgrade this guy a little bit further. Alright, now let's go back up here, down through here, and then here is a ladder leading up. Alright, I just created this room because, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not too sure if this was needed or not. Uh, like another room for this, but I needed one anyways for. I'll show you guys in a second. So, yeah, just a hatch to get Welcome in and out real quickly. Captain. And now if we go through here, we are at the observatory. 
Oh man, I love this part. It's so cool. So if we can sit here, look at everything around us. Have an eye on the base operations. We need to get some lights up in this place. What do you guys say? Yeah, I believe some lights and a couple more solar panels. I mean, that has a big um, uh, surface area. So we can just add more solar panels all the way around. Can I just get out of here? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that is basically everything. And let's go down here. And there's not much anything else which I have uh, done. There is one thing that happened with the prawn, though. R remember last episode? Excuse me. Remember last episode we just built a scanner room and whatnot? And then after I was done recording, I played around a little bit with the scanner room. And when I came, like, I exited the drone back into the scanner room, the prawn was inside like underneath the uh, ocean floor I couldn't get to it so I had to do a trick with the sea moth where you park yourself against a wall against a like a corner or something and then you try to exit and then it forces you out um, into a no clipping because I did look for console commands and I could not find any no clipping uh, we might as well just deposit that and drink that and then go chow a little bit more so yeah, like I said, there was no um, anything that could help me no clip through the ground and grab the prawn and get out. There was none of that. Or well, what I know of. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section if there is, but uh, I don't. I couldn't find any. Okay. So I was thinking, let us go onto the sea moth. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be way faster this way. I should probably put a hatch here or something so we can just get out and get into that one as quickly as possible. But I mean, this is just as fast, so... Yeah, let's go and see if we cannot... Do I have anything in here? No, not at the moment. That is all good. Uh, so let's dive into the ocean. Let's go find some uranium crystals. So I'm thinking this way over... Yeah, this way sort of, yeah. There should be some, like a, a dip down. Yeah, there it is. I think it's that one. Like there's a big dip that goes into like an, not an unexplored area, but an area that is, I think it might be this one. That will send us to, yeah, this place. This is the place I was looking for. And these will have tons and tons of those uranium. I think. I did see a couple. Yeah, see? Over here. There's already three of in front of us. So let's go ahead, grab that one. That one. And uh, this is the one. Uranite crystals. Alright, and I can sh should probably just grab some of these quartz while we're here as well. Watch how I turn around and there's like a leviathan, like, drooling. I don't know if you, could s if you can see a leviathan drool or not. But like a leviathan behind me is like, yo, what's up, lunch? <laughs> I am no lunch of you. I am out of here. <laughs> right, so that is all good and well. Let's climb back into here and dive a bit deeper and see if we cannot find any more urinites. Or urine samples. There should be some urine samples around here somewhere. <laughs> uh, is that why they call urine and urine, uranite, uranium and urine? I don't know. There must be some kind of connection. And oh yes, we have to make the drill arm for the uh, what do you call it, the prawn, so we can start gathering those things. You know, that's the point of having sort of having the point of sort of the. I'm just confusing myself, I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? I mean, we can dive way deeper as well. There we go. There's another one. How many do we have now? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's a good amount for now. But we want more because we need to craft up four of those rods hmm not too deep not too deep baboon caution 
No, no, no. Yes, lady, I know that. I know it. But I like danger. I will surpass the safest point. Well, if I do that, then I would just physically crushing my own seam off into little tiny pieces and I have to rebuild it again. There we go. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a cut in here, collect as many as these guys as I can, and then I'll bring you guys right back. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back, peeps. So, let me show you guys how many I have collected. So many. <laughs> there is enough for 10 reactor rods in here. That is a crap ton of them. So let's go ahead and look at resources. But first, before we continue on with that, we have to build the reactor itself. Alright. So, we require 3 lead and 2 titanium ingots. Now, let's go ahead and grab all of these and see how many we can craft. Go ahead, basic materials and titanium ingots, which might take a while. And one more, please. Thank you. Okay, so, whoops, there we go. And maybe off camera, I will most likely build another one, another reactor. Uh, one, two, three. And it is, yeah, that's enough for that. And then let's look at lubricant, mm -hmm. which should be over here. There we go. That was lubricant from the bioreactor when I disassembled it or deconstructed it. So let's go ahead and grab all of these just for in case. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, yeah, let's screw it. Let's go through here. Okay, so now here's a big question. Where do we want to build this guy? Go away. Okay. Um, I have no idea. We could, most likely... Well, that way's blocked. This one will go out to here, but will it allow me to build? Mm, let's see. Yeah. And then we need to be super careful now. Because we might surpass. Okay, we still have 14 points left. Okay, so that is where the nuclear reactor is gonna be. So let's get in here. Or actually, it's gonna be easier from this way. And I need to recharge the thing again. Wait, how many lubricant does this require? This, uh... Okay, we have enough. Alright. And let's start constructing this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's put this away. Exercise, caution, radioactive and radioactive pressure, risk that the data requirements therefore permanently be erased. Oh. Okay. Oh, man. It looks so beautiful. So white. So cool. Okay. So this requires all these uh, things. The reactor rods. Okay. So what I want to quickly check out. Okay. So we... All right. So we need to, in the future, get more uh, titanium. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. A couple more titanium. And then... Yeah, titanium for another multi-room. I just try to think here. Titanium for another multi-room. And then more titanium for the titanium ingots and some lubricant. Alright, now that's that's all all well. Let's go ahead and craft up the uranium. Which is in advanced materials. Uranium. Three crystals. So we need f uh there's one, two Three, four. Cool. Let's put away these guys. Cool. That. That. Eh, nope. There we go. There's one. Which is invisible. Uranium is invisible. Okay. 
What do I mean exercise caution? What the hell am I gonna do with it? Lead and titanium. Ooh. You can only make three of them. Poop. Okay. And lead. Let's grab all of these. Yeah, we only gotta be able to make three. Unfortunately. There we go. There's the first one. Second one. And third one. Nice. So let's go ahead and put this guy back. Or oh, put that guy in there. At least. For now. Alright, there we go. Uh, up one. Uh, this base is getting big, guys. Really big. Soon it's gonna be so confusing. Don't know where to go. Alright, there we go. And then... You guys ready? You guys ready? Let's activate. Nothing. <laughs> There's nothing. No sound, nothing. But it is working, it's saying active right here, which is pretty cool. And yeah. So we are currently creating 850 power. Not bad. 1000. There we go. It shot up. Okay. 1000. Wow. That's a lot. That's really a lot. And the power is slowly coming back. Is it daytime yet? I think it might be daytime by now. So the solar panels should be working. I just quickly want to take a gander over here. Let's see. Sun, 44, 45, 46, 47. Yeah, it is getting power. And if we line all of these guys up, with uh, more solar panels, except this this uh, observatory over here, then we would have a decent amount of power to charge anything. And yeah, and adding the second uh, nuclear reactor, yeah, let's let's go down. And adding a second nuclear reactor will enable us to generate way more power. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Unless we leave that last tank out, because I mean. There's already a lot. So, yeah, I think that should be a thing. We don't have to worry about it next time. Well, for me. So we can just, might as well just go ahead and deconstruct this one. But we can go ahead. Can I place it down? Uh, yeah, let's place it down like so. So I don't forget. All right, so then... Because this one is facing that door, so if we come in here, we can, uh, like, interact with it. And if we go to that one, we will be able to interact with that. Mm-hmm. I'm liking this. So, yeah, unfortunately, time has caught up with us. And, um, yeah, I want to say thank you so much, guys, for joining me here on Subnautica. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.